Praise be to God, the Most High. Glory of the Lord, Lord of Lords. Help me to show your grace and forgiveness to those who need it most. Guthrum Jarl approaches. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Elrich, are you done speaking with your god for now? My dialogue with him is constant, my lord, even if my lips are not moving. My lord this, my lord that. Oh, you Saxons are quick to bend the knee. Perhaps it's why you make such excellent prisoners. And yet King Alfred's army of Saxons has you surrounded. Yes, well. I had expected him to send for you, but five months and more he has left you here with no word. Perhaps you are not as precious to him as you led me to believe. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit which is in him? Or perhaps he finds your habit of quoting dead men as insufferable as I do. I doubt that very much, my lord. Come, walk with me. It must be almost time for you to pray again. I'll uh, speak plainly. I've kept my men from pillaging Chippenham so that Alfred will have no quarrel with me should he retake his home. I see. Do you? If he bests us, I will be at your mercy instead of you at mine. Can I trust you to speak on my behalf, or do Saxons cling to their grudges as dearly as Vithar? Christ demands we show others the mercy he has already shown us. You have nothing to fear from me, my lord. Well, we shall see. You served under Alfred for many years. Tell me, how does he keep the loyalty of his men? After so many years of defeat, surely his soldiers would join another army. King Alfred's role has been ordained by God. To desert him would be to go against divine will. There are no contests of strength, no challenges to his rule. Why would there be? He alone is destined to lead us until God chooses otherwise. <laughs> there may be something to this religion of yours after all. going on here? No. The relic. It's gone. I want every Saxon in this place searched head to toe. Wait. Remember your place, Saxon. These people have been here since the siege began. They've no reason to steal. Not now. And nowhere to flee if they did. You accuse my men? I accuse no one. Let me speak with those present. I will find the thieves. No. You will return to your cell immediately. I will discover who is responsible before Alfred hears of it and decides to retake Chippenham by force. One of these people must have seen something. My apologies, but did you happen to witness anyone exiting the church with items made of gold or silver? Surely I did. Some Saxons came here and took everything they could, carrying it all off to the butcher's house next to the market. That seems strange. Good Christians would have no reason to take what is theirs already. Are you questioning my honor? Merely making an observation. Thank you for your candor. Tell me, brother, did you see who stole from the chapel? Don't ask me. Please, just go! Young one, did you see anyone carrying items of gold from the chapel? I saw some men in furs and armor hiding things under their cloaks. They were talking about leaving Chippenham at night and said the statue would be too heavy. Then they went to the big house next to the great hall. You have done our lord a tremendous service, child. Thank you. Guthrum should know what I found.
Sister, did you see who took the relic and the rest of the gold? I saw nothing! Now leave me alone! We need to find out what happened to the relic. As it turns out, early medieval times were full of... Find no hidden relic here. Bjorn, pleasure to see you. I'm searching for our sacred relics that have been taken from the chapel. May I look inside to clear your good name? Certainly not. My men are sleeping and I won't have them disturbed by some monk on a foolish hunt for fault where there is none. The child said the thieves went to the big house next to the great hall. I advise you to look elsewhere, monk. My men and my house are no concern of yours. I need to look inside. There must be another entrance. Say, Bjornio. All right, sound bad. My lord, I found the missing gold and the relic of Eden. I told you to return to your cell, Elric. I will not brook disobedience, not from my men and not from you. Bjorn is organizing your men to flee Chippenham by night and leave you to face Alfred's wrath alone. What? If you are lying to me, monk. Now return to yourself. Do not let me lay eyes on you until you come at my command. Yes, my lord. I need to return to my room. Guthrum abhors disobedience. Ah. 
Get inside, monk. I won't be held accountable by good disobey him again. Good morrow, Bjorn. Have you come to join me in prayer? Never, monk. Guthrum Jarl wants to speak with you in the longhouse. Bring your golden idol. You'll need it before long. Bjorn is waiting. I should not stoke his impatience. It's time to travel again, old friend. This relic carries a shard of the one true cross, if you doubt its potency. I doubt every lie that falls from your lips. Asher Guthrum, you made it trouble for me and my men. Trouble brought upon you by your own actions. And by a monk who doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. Only after we admit our faults and beg forgiveness can we hope to atone for them. Spare me your sermons. I won't forget the debt you owe me. And neither will you if you have a mind to keep living. It's time to travel again, old friend. wished to see me, my lord. Your king has finally sent for you. Alfred has delivered the terms of my surrender and I have accepted. You are no longer my prisoner. Thank you, my lord. I will remember you in my prayers. One moment, Elrich. I admit the insights I gleaned into the Saxon mind through our discussions made Alfred's terms easier to swallow. He wants me to be baptized, to become a Christian king. It is you who convinced me that doing so would increase my power, not diminish it. Of course, any who come to the Lord are welcome. Hopefully in time, you will appreciate the many other gifts God offers beyond mere power as well. Mere power? Hold your tongue, monk. With the treaty signed, your usefulness is at its end. Leave by the main gate. A horse awaits you. Now go before I change my mind. Yes, my lord. Better meet the messenger before Guthrum changes his mind. It is King Alfred who must claim this great victory, though, of course, God strengthens his hand. Brother Elrich, I was told to wait on you. King Alfred desires to see you at once. And let us not keep the good king waiting. What news in Winchester since Christmas? <laughs> Too much for me to say. 
But the battle at Eddington was won, and soon the countryside will be free for all good Wessex men to till and plough as before. For so many years of war, the land seems all but untouched. Yea, nature's beauty has taken not nearly so hard a beating as we have. It's a pleasure to see it again as a free man at last. What news of the king? How does he celebrate his triumph? With more plans and late-night discussions. I've never seen a man smile so little when reporting such a great victory. He's right to be wary. Guthrum is not tamed yet. <sighs> if you say so. His ferocity seemed to be at an ebb when I delivered King Alfred's terms. I pray you are right. It would be well if we are done with war for his sake and ours. I'll drink to that, brother! King Alfred awaits you inside. Thank you for ensuring my safe return. Alfred will be waiting on my return. Brother Elrich, you are returned to me at last. By God's grace, it is so. And by mine. I was the one who included your safe passage in the terms of Guthrum's surrender. Then I am grateful to you as well, my lord. And you have returned with the relic of Ely. I was ready to chase the Danes to recover it, but I see you have the matter well in hand. With Guthrum's aid, yes. You speak kindly of him. Even after so many months as his captive, Truly, you exemplify Christ's grace. Now come, we have a baptism to plan. The baptism will soon begin. Fessit Dominus Noster Sapiens. That's why I've chosen the name Adeus Stan. I trust you agreed. Jarl Guthrum, to have you come in peace to our city at last fills my heart with joy. You seem well, Elrich. Freedom agrees with you. As a life in the service of Christ will agree with you. Indeed. Let us delay this happy occasion. See Igita vis ad vitam ingredi, serve a mandate. Diligus dominum diem tuum ex toto cortu, et ex toto anima tua, et ex toto ment tua, et proximum tuum sicut typesum. Uh, amen. Accepi signum crucis tam in front, quam in cord, 
soon fidem clustium preceptorum et talis esto moribes, ab tempum deum as possess. Amen. Amen. Amen.